If you want to know the secret to living longer, forget the latest fad diet or miracle supplement. Grab a dumbbell, squeeze, and pay attention. Because your grip strength might just be the crystal ball for your longevity. A groundbreaking 12-year study tracking over 14,000 adults found that those with weak grip strength had a whopping 45% higher risk of early death. And if that weakness extended to your lower body and core, the risk shot up to 69%, meaning strength isn't just about looking good at the beach. It's about survival itself. Grip strength, it turns out, is a powerful proxy for your entire body's muscle health, predicting not just how many groceries you can carry, but the risk for cardiovascular disease. Grip strength isn't just about muscles. It's a direct reflection of how well your central nervous system communicates with your body. The brain and spinal cord send precise electrical signals down the nerves to activate those tiny muscles in your hand and forearm. This coordination is so fine-tuned that even a slight miscommunication can weaken your grip or slow your reaction time. In fact, scientists have found that the more force you generate with your grip, the more your brain's motor regions light up, showing a direct link between brain activity and grip strength. Every time you squeeze, your muscles send signals back to your brain, releasing proteins called myokines that help protect your neurons and support your learning, memory, and even your mood. This feedback loop means regular grip training doesn't just make your hands stronger, it can actually help keep your brain sharp. That's why declining grip strength can sometimes be an early warning sign of changes in brain health or even cognitive decline. So when you train your grip, you're not just building muscle, you're strengthening the entire network that keeps your brain and body in sync. So try carrying your groceries instead of using a cart, kneading bread dough by hand, gardening with manual tools, using hand grippers while watching TV or even taking up hobbies like rock climbing, pottery, or playing a musical instrument. And what makes this approach revolutionary is that it integrates seamlessly into your daily life. Strength training becomes part of your routine rather than another chore on your to-do list. And studies show that this kind of functional strength training actually benefits more from integrating different aspects like balance, flexibility, and endurance than from isolated exercises alone. Even more fascinating is a connection between grip strength and our brain health. And research has found that monitoring grip strength can predict cognitive changes with reduced strength over time serving as an early warning sign of cognitive decline. So the next time you're tempted to skip strength training for another cardio session, remember, it's not about adding years to your life but life to your years. And it all starts with your grip, the punchline. When it comes to aging well, it's not about how fast you run, but how hard you hold on. Because those who grip life the strongest live the longest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.